Hi, I'm Shruti from Informatica Technical Support. This video is about creating and configuring a BCI listener mapping to communicate to an SAP server. The agenda of this video is like how to import BCI mappings.xml and creating BCI logical system in SAP side to provide listener connections and uh, run BCI listener. To uh, do a simple connection test with SAP BCA logical system and scheduling target and LMIP connection nodes. Here, according to Informatica's logic for implementing a pull model mechanism with SAP warehousing servers, we introduce a BCA listener and process mappings that can be triggered using the send request generated by Informatica, Informatica mappings as well. Along with Informatica installers, we are shipping several mappings. First, these mappings should be imported into the designer tool and then we can run the mappings. The location for BCI mappings will be in installers, SAP solutions, MySAP, BCI. So first we will install uh, all the mappings which is shipped by the Informatica. Mapping should be imported using the repository manager. It can be opened in the designer. So this is the mappings, BCA mappings for symbol. It should be imported. Here we have listener mapping, send request mapping, a cleaner mapping, and two process mappings. These process ma mappings can be treated as example mappings because the data sources we need may not be these two. In that case, we have to create another process mapping. So it is not compulsory that we should. Uh, import these two process mappings. Here we have uh, mappings for article text and article attribute. Now these mappings can be opened in the designer. So these are the four mappings which we were talking about. The first one is a cleaning mapping. This is for cleaning the staging area. Here source for BCI table is the uh, staging area. So this mapping can clear uh, the table. Next is the BCI listener mapping which we are going to use. Then we have two process mappings and a send request mapping. So here uh, we don't have to change the mapping uh, but we have several targets here so these targets has to be created in uh, relational tables. First one is BCI scheduling target that is an LMAPI target so we have to give the connection LMAPI connection there. Then RS info staging indicator and document um, source for BCI tables. These three are uh, relational tables so we have to create a relation connection for these three. So we can use the uh, target designer for creating the relation connection. So all the three tables are here. Now we can crea uh, create the uh, relational table for this. Here source for BCI is the staging table where the IDOC will be stored and from this source for BCI table the process mappings will read the IDOC. We have an interpreter connection, interpreter transformation in uh, process mappings to interpret the IDOC stored in these tables. So here we have already created the relation connection for this. So we'll go to the workflow manager for providing the connections. We have to create uh, two connections, LMAPI target connection and relational table connection for this for uh, four targets. And uh, for the listener, we need an application connection that is IDOC reader connection. So we are going to workflow manager. In workflow manager also we can see the corresponding workflows of the mappings we saw there. So we will open the BCI listener map um, workflow here. Here we could see for every mapping what all connections for every source and target what all connections we need for the source that is BCA listener we need a listener connection 
uh, which can uh, listen from the SCP server. So that will be an IDOC reader connection and a BC scheduling target which need an LMAPI target connection. Then these three are the info staging indicator and source for BC which need a relational table connections. So here for SAP IDOC ALA IDOC reader we have already created a um, logical system name ls underscore sm so how to create a logical system in SAP BCI for that we have to open SAP logon using the SAP GUI we will go to the transaction where we can create the SAP BCI logical system Here we have to use the transaction slash n slash infra tran is said infra bca. This transport will help in creating a logical system for bca. Here we have an option to create a logical system. We have to check the create communication settings and these two that is the username and password which is already hard coded in the transports so we don't have to provide that. Now the logical system name, which should be a new one, uh, should not be uh, should not be an existing one. So we can provide another name. And this option should should be H, because this will help in uh, over over overwriting the uh, existing user. Now go to this execute, and you will be able to create a new logical system. Now we are using the already created logical system that is ls underscore sm we are can provide a code page for this and a uh, user defined name. Now the BCA scheduling target that is an LMAPI target that should contain the details of the domain, the name of the target and the username of and password of the uh, domain and the code page of the domain, domain name, integration service name then relational connection for the other three tables relation connection providing for these tables should be the same because uh, the source for BCI table will be read in the uh, next mapping as a source so the connections should be the same now we can run the map we can run the mapping after providing the integration service name So here we could see the listener running. If you open the session log, we can see the listener which is ready for receiving the data. IDOC listener 17603 this message showing that the other listener is running fine and it is ready for receiving data. If you face any issues like uh, the listener is uh, not running or if it is failing uh, without any error or something uh, or if the listener is running but we are not able to send IDOCs or something there is a basic test for this like we have to go to SAP uh, GUI and uh, there is a transaction called SM59 you can go to slash and SM59 and in TCP IP connections we will be able to see the logical system we created go to the logical system 
and we can do a connection test we have two connection test that is like unicode test also so if we go for unicode test it will tell the target system it like target is a unicode system and we have to check the uh, unicode settings we set if it is you target is a unicode system we should edit and change it into unicode if it's non unicode just keep it like that and uh, we uh, we can know that uh, whether the listener is run, uh, running for the logical system we created so we can go to connection test and we should see some packets transfer of uh, uh, packets and uh, the result will be the um, better one if it is not the uh, listener if the listener is not running for this uh, if we are checking something else then we should see this uh, result in a red uh, background it means the listener is not running for this logical system and we can see the error message here it's not registered in the sense uh, the listener is not running for this logical system so this is the basic test and one more thing we can check is like go to system and check this check the status this will show uh, for which system uh, this listener is running so the de details of the systems and another option is go to htas uh, system information and uh, target system this will provide you the target system which is listening for the system id the network address of the system and all so from this we can um, match that uh, whether the logical system configured by the listener and the one which is running here is the same so that's all for the logical system now we'll talk, uh, talk a little about lmapi target in listener uh, in designer we could see the lmapi target settings so in designer we, we should go to bci scheduling target here we have an option for scheduling information there we have uh, three entries that is like a key primary workflow name secondary workflow name a key represent the data source name primary workflow name is the workflow which uh, this um, data source have to be run and secondary workflow name should be the next uh, workflow send request name so uh, if you want to run a series of data sources then uh, this option should be helpful if the, there is no entry in this um, table then um, the workflow will not run series uh, in a series so that's all for this so we would like to hear from you this is the format for sending your feedback support videos at informatica.com we have a twitter option also thank you